I'm going to take you through some slides here just to give you, I think uh, quite a few of you have probably seen this via email, um, but there has been some updates along the way. And keep in mind that things are still evolving and still coming together here, but this will give you kind of a snapshot for the size and the scope of the project. Uh, just go back one, Kate. So first of all, the brand, the Canadian Dairy Expo, um, you can see it's a trilingual logo. Uh, we call it the three languages of the dairy industry, both English, Dutch, and French. Um, dates early in February. Uh, we felt that there's a, a real opportunity early in, that, early in the year for uh, companies to showcase the latest in products, the latest in services, make announcements about uh, new happenings within their, their organization. So number two there, you can see the, uh, the main facility layout. So we're actually right here. Um, and you can see there's a twin pad rink. Um, over this way uh, to my left is the main uh, community hall that will be utilized for um, the heavy equipment, uh, the TMR mixers, the, the tractors, etc. cetera. Um, and then actually at the back here, the original plan was to utilize the uh, the, the rink and of course there's compromises along the way and uh, we talked to some of the partners that will be bringing in uh, live cattle and they want to get them in early to make sure that they're uh, they're ready for the event and so and there was a bit of a sensitivity too with uh, with minor hockey so we said for the first year what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put up a fully enclosed uh, structure um, at the back of the building where we can control the temperature get those cows in early uh, and create a real classy environment uh, everything that you see here is all on the main floor. We didn't want anybody uh, going upstairs. We wanted to keep traffic flow good, nice and simple. So one main entrance, uh, which is that entrance over there. Uh, one main entrance, one main exit. Uh, in, in through the uh, main trade show hall, uh, into the uh, Cal Coliseum, and then into the smaller trade show hall with 10 by 10s, and then the dairy classroom, which uh, Jack Rodenberg is going to talk uh, a little bit more about in a minute. So. Uh, most of you have seen the agenda and have guessed uh, on two of our founding partners that are speaking today, both uh, EastGen uh, as part of the CMEX Alliance and, uh, and also JLOR. But um, a couple more here, Post uh, has signed on Post uh, Barn Construction um, and also Grand Valley Fortifiers. And then of course supporting with uh, the two uh, national organizations, um, Holstein Canada, Jersey Canada and more to come. There's the main entrance, which again won't be here, it'll be over on the other side. And basically when you walk in uh, to your right will be the founding partner board. Uh, to your left, I have to give uh, him a little plug. A young guy, uh, he's doing some dairy barn design, he's an animation student called Berkeley Design. And uh, just really impressed, Hal and I brought him here and said, hey, here's our vision. Now, how do you make it come to life? And so he did these, uh, these animations for us and he'll actually have a virtual show display. So producers on their way into the event can see uh, the virtual component before they even get into the show. Uh, again, large equipment uh, hall there. Um, there's no weight capacity, so we can put uh, large equipment there. There's great access with doors uh, in and out. Um, and then a food area here that we plan to uh, work on with junior farmers and 4-H. It was really important to us that uh, we build a culture Around this, uh, around this event, similar to what you would see in Madison, where basically the dairy industry takes over Stratford for the entire week. Um, and when we were choosing venues, there was a lot of little things that added up to choosing Stratford. It's international cachet all the way down to um, the actual food on site where we can control our food. Um, they don't have a contract with a food service company, so that lends itself well. Uh, to doing you know, the chocolate milkshakes, grilled cheeses, etc., with the uh, 4-H and junior farmers. So here's the, the cow coliseum. Um, basically down the one side we would have the, uh, the loose housing, uh, cow displays, dairy daughter displays, uh, with a, a commercial flair to it, um, and then the robots down at the other end with a red carpet and uh, lots of stand-up tables uh, for socializing, eating, and networking. Uh, food will be served in the other building, um, but it can be eaten in the cow barn itself. This just gives you a, a view of the, uh, the robot demonstrations, and uh, the idea here is to get, uh, there's four robots on the market now, and two more coming, um, so it lends itself well to having these robots uh, all in one place, 
where a producer can walk down the front and see uh, all four of them operate, four or five of them operate at the same time. So we're not looking at cow flow. Basically, they'll push the cows in, the producers will walk across the front of the robots and, and get to see those robots operate at the same time with four demonstrations per day. So small exhibit uh, trade show hall. Uh, there'll be a connecting heated tunnel uh, between the buildings. Um, we're gonna call it a research tunnel, uh, displaying uh, OMAFRA, University of Guelph, et cetera, research on either side of the tunnel walls, uh, leading right into the, uh, they call it the Agriplex. And, uh, and then the dairy classroom, again, kind of a unique uh, setup there instead of theater style seating, round tables that are interactive, lend itself well to, uh, to workshops with flip charts beside the tables. And then uh, the Cheese Fest, uh, which I mentioned, the evening event uh, on the first night, uh, so on the Wednesday night, uh, immediately following the show and making that fuse or that connection uh, with the consumer and helping to build some appreciation for uh, these producers that are out there working hard every day. And uh, we're calling it Our National Dairy uh, Showcase. Um, it's very important that uh, those of, the, of you that are here today uh, those of you that pick up on uh, on the video that will be streamed today on uh, on YouTube, um, get out there and make some noise and embrace the concept and uh, help us build some awareness. And our positioning statement there, pride in dairy, because as you guys know, you step onto a dairy farm and there's a whole lot of passion and a whole lot of pride uh, behind the, those operations that we want to capture. 